This is part 8 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Bootstrap Response View Utility Classes. So what are Bootstrap Response View Utility Classes? Bootstrap Response View Utility Classes are useful for showing and hiding content by device via media query. Here, we've got some of the Response View Utility Classes available in Bootstrap 3. Notice there is a class visible Excess. Excess stands for extra small. So if we apply this class on an element, that element will be visible only on an extra small screen size. We also have visible SM, SM for small. So if we apply this class on an element, then that element will be visible only on a small screen size. So if we apply both these classes on element, then that element will be visible on both extra small and small screen sizes, but not on medium and large. Notice for medium and large screen sizes also, we have the corresponding visible classes. We also have the respective hidden classes for different screen sizes. For example, when we apply hidden MD on an element, that element will be hidden on a medium device and it will be visible across all other screen sizes. Let's understand the use of these classes with an example. Now, what we want to do is design a web page with four columns like this. To get this, I have this HTML. Notice we have a container. Within the container, we have got a row. And within this row, we have got four developments. And notice on every development, I have used call LG3 class. So what is this going to do? This is going to give us four columns side by side per row on a large screen size. Also notice on every development, I'm also using call MD4. So this is going to make three columns side by side in a single row on a medium screen size. And we're using call SM6 as well on every element. So this is going to give us only two columns side by side in a single row on a small screen size. And then this call XS12 is going to make only one column per row on an extra small screen size. That means all the columns are going to be stacked on top of each other. And for the inner development, which is displaying the text, you know, we are applying a custom CSS class. And here is that CSS class. I have this exact same HTML and CSS class already typed within Visual Studio. So if we view this page in the browser, this is how it looks like at the moment. Now notice on a large screen size, we have four columns side by side next to each other in a single row. Now as I start to resize the browser, look at what happens. When we are within a medium screen size, notice we only get three columns. On a small screen size, we get only two columns. And on an extra small screen size, we get only one column per row. And here is what we want to do. Now the column which says all screens, this column should be visible across all screen sizes. That means we don't have to do any modification for this first column right here. But the second column, which says medium, large, and small, we want this to be visible only on medium, large, and small screen sizes, not on an extra small screen size. We can very easily achieve this by using one of the hidden classes. So we don't want this column to be visible on an extra small screen size. So I can use the hidden class, hidden access. So what is this going to do? This is going to hide this element on an extra small screen size and it will be visible across all the other screen sizes. And that's exactly what we want. This is one way of achieving it. Another way of achieving this is by using the corresponding visible classes as well. So we want this to be visible on a large device. So I can use visible LG. We also want it to be visible on a medium device. So I'm going to use visible MD. We also want it to be visible on an extra small device. So I mean a small device, so I'm going to use visible SM. So with visible classes, we have to use three of them, whereas with hidden, we only need to use one class. So let's use that. Hidden, we want to hide this on an extra small screen size. So I'm going to use hidden access. Now the next column, medium and large, we want this to be visible on medium and large screen sizes. So I'm going to use visible LG and visible MD. We can also use the hidden classes, that is hidden SM and hidden XS instead of the visible classes. Finally, this one column right here, large, we want this to be visible only on a large screen size. So I'm going to use visible 
LJ. Let's save our changes, reload this page. Notice on a large screen size we see all the four columns. As soon as I start to resize and when we fall within the range of a medium screen size, look at what's going to happen to the large column. It will be invisible. We don't see that. It's hidden now. And on a small screen size, we only see the first two columns. Look at that. Now we are within the breakpoint of a small screen size. When we fall into extra small screen size zone, notice we only have one column which says all screens. So that's the use of these visible and hidden responsive utility classes in Bootstrap. Now, as of Bootstrap version 3.2.0, the visible classes for each screen size come in three variations, one for each CSS display property shown right here in this table. Now, CSS display property can be block, inline, or inline block. So for each of these values of the display property, we have the corresponding visible classes. So for example, if we are talking about visible large class, then we have three variations of that. Visible large block, visible LG inline, and visible LG inline block. Similarly, when we are talking about a medium device, then we have visible MD block, visible MD inline, and visible MD inline block. So one class for each display property value. Now, if you're wondering what is the difference between display inline, display inline block, and display block, here is an article that explains the difference. So if we look at that article, so here we've got the outer element is the div element, and within that we've got some text, and here we have a span element. Okay, so here we have a span element, and for this span element, let's say we have a height of 100 pixels and a red border. Okay, and if we apply display in line property on that span element, this is how the span element will look like. If we apply inline block instead of inline, then this is how that span element will look like. And finally, if we apply block, then this is how the span element will be displayed. So for each value of the display property block inline and inline block, we have the corresponding visible classes again for each screen size. Now these classes, visible access, visible SM, visible MD, visible LG, these classes are still available, but then they are deprecated as of version 3.2.0. Similar to the regular responsive classes that we have seen just now, we can also use these visible print and hidden print classes to show or hide certain elements for printing purpose. Let's understand the use of these classes with an example. Let's say I have got you know, two columns, and I'm only going to use column access 12. So we only want single column on all the screen sizes. So let's use column access, and I'm going to get rid of this hidden access class from here. Now, I want this to be hidden for print, meaning, you know, I want this column to be visible on the browser. Okay, so what I'm going to do is change the text to visible on browser when. not printing okay and here this column I want this to be visible for print so let's say here the text is visible when printing let's save our changes so now I am going to reload this page Look at this. The column which has hidden print, okay, this column is visible via, while we are on the browser, okay? And when I try to print this page, look at that. So now it's loading the preview, and look at what happens. The other column, which says visible when printing, where we have this visible print class applied, you know, that's what is displaying and not the other column. Okay, so these classes are useful for printing purposes. 
again as of bootstrap version 3.2.0 the visible print class come in three variations again one for each CSS display property value shown right here in our display block inline and inline block we have visible print block visible print inline and visible print inline block the visible print class also exists but it is deprecated as of bootstrap version 3.2.0 Thank you for listening and have a great day.